Last year, there were over 9,000 tenants who were sued by landlords, just in Jackson County alone. My landlord, he served me papers, and he's a slumlord. There's black mold in the house. The toilet is backing up into the into the tub. The furnace is hot. We don't have no heat. We have to heat up the house with the stove. Landlords, though, are not in the charity business. If you can't pay your rent, should they be required to allow you to stay in that home or apartment? Oh, it's been probably about five or six moves I've done in the last five to six years. Parts of the city are in crisis when it comes to eviction. Creeping gentrification as well, driving up house prices perhaps, which is good for house owners, but also driving out low-income families. Where do they move to? I tried to get housing, um, tried to get on with the housing authority and found out it was a three-year waiting list. You can't really separate out the fact that fewer and fewer workers make living wages and more and more workers are facing evictions. KCPT and its digital news team, Flatland, is partnering to raise the roof in a six-month reporting series. We're going to have in-depth video reports, web stories, documentaries, and broadcast town halls. We want you to be a part of our reporting process. You can share your insights, experiences, and questions about housing, eviction, and gentrification with us online at flatlandkc.org slash publicworks.